Hi friends, welcome to the channel of Learning by Doing. I know everyone learn theoretical knowledge from your books, but we will get the practical knowledge by doing. So now I am going to make you to know about a web programming language called HTML5. For HTML5, we doesn't need any extra tools and all and any requirements for this. We just need a notepad and a web browser. Web browser is nothing but any browser, Chrome or Firefox, anything that we have in your computers. So now I'm going to open the notepad. This is my notepad and in this I'm going to tell you uh, the basic tags of the HTML. HTML was read, uh, nothing but the hypertext markup language. The HTML is going to be starts with, I mean the, any HTML document is going to be starts with HTML markup tag. And what is mean by the HTML is nothing but hypertext markup language. And in this, uh, the tags were in between the angular braces and uh, the this tags are called the start tags and the tag which is followed by the slash HTML is nothing but the end tag. In between these two tags, the total body and the title contents, everything will be there. And which it is nothing but the HTML document has been started and the HTML document is going to be end. And now I'm going to tell you the basic uh, HTML tags called uh, uh, header tag. We have the header tag and the header tag will be closed by using slash head. In between this, we can have another tag called the title tag. In this title tag, whatever you wrote uh, in the title tag doesn't displays on your web page. But where it will be displayed, we'll see while getting our output. I'll write as first HTML class okay and then I'm going to introduce you another tag called the body tag in the body tag whatever you wrote in the body tag will be displayed in your uh, web page so I'm going to write as simple HTML code right uh, this is my very simple basic uh, tags in the HTML and uh, I'm gonna save this okay uh, we'll save it as uh, class 1 class 1 dot HTML every HTML uh, file has to be extended with dot HTM or dot HTML extension here we'll select all files and we're gonna save it okay we'll open it I saved it in the e drive HTML folder I saved as class 1 and I'm going to run this using my browser of just Google Chrome what we're going to see just wait God. Uh, wait see here I have seen uh, you are going to see here uh, the simple HTML code which was displayed on your web page. Uh, if I, if you want me to zoom it, uh, I'll zoom it. Simple HTML code. What we wrote in the body part were going to be displayed in our web page, and we wrote something in our uh, title part that is first HTML class, right? Or you want to see here, right? This is first HTML class. Then where it is? Uh, it is here. It is in the title part of us. So uh, this is nothing but the title and the body of the HTML. And we're going to see another uh, tags now. 
and in this we are having the different kinds of tags and now i'm going to tell you the heading tags i mean headers heading in the html we want to give different kinds of headings to our web pages that is we want to give a basic uh, uh, subtitles and a, uh, a bold heading and also somewhat little lesser length and the lesser sized and the lesser width having headings and all this we have the different kinds of headings we are going to give to our web page then how we'll give through this uh, html we have the tags called h1 h2 h3 h4 h5 and h6 so let me show you mm, this is heading right this is in between the h1 tag and i'm i'm going to tell you that uh one more thing uh in uh the html is not a case sensitive language that is nothing bad you can write the html in both upper case and the lower cases there is no issue on it i mean you are all well known that in java we need to write uh, we need to uh, compulsory follow some uh, uh, restrictions on uh, writing our, our our code right so but in html it is very user friendly that you can write in any case that is upper or lower cases and uh, i'm going to show you different kinds of headings how they look we have six headings in our html5 and we have six headings in our html also uh, so now we are going to discuss about HTML5, right? So I'm talking about that itself. <coughs> Sorry. See, uh, this is nothing but the heading tag, and we'll see it how it's gonna look. Okay, guys, and uh, I'm gonna teach you another type of tag called if you want to write something. Uh, some content in your web page how will you write i want to write some paragraph i want to write some stories in my web page then uh, we can use a paragraph tag for that hi friends how are you all sorry how are you all i wrote this uh as a as a paragraph you can write whatever you want this uh, this paragraph has to be in between the paragraph tag which is uh, represented by using a p within two angular braces and the close end tag will be followed by slash as usual and uh, in this uh, we are having an another one called um, hr tag hr tag is nothing but the horizontal tag I'm just putting HR here and what's going to happen we'll see later okay guys um, HR and one more thing I just want to say you that HR tag doesn't need any closed HR tag I mean like if you use the HR tag I mean like horizontal line tag uh, I'm clearly saying to you guys um, it doesn't need any slash HR tag or anything and uh, this is just showing a line under your uh, under your text that's it and if you want my line to get some color i mean i want my line to be in red color or something anything whatever you want i'll give blue i want my line to be in blue uh, then uh, i want my line to have some size in it then i'll show the size also we have the size attribute for this and uh, I need some 10 pixels enough yes that's enough to me and uh, we can also give the width to our uh, our uh, horizontal line uh, then um, I'm gonna give the width as 80% uh, okay 80% this is nothing but the horizontal line tag which is easily represented by using HR within the angular braces and we have the attributes for it as size color and width of it 
and i'm gonna tell you another type of tags here itself because these are all the basic tags we are having very important tags later these are all just the basic tags which you can easily learn within one day so i'm gonna tell you some text formatting uh, styles i mean like if you want your text to be in bold letters and if you want your text to be in an italic letters and if you want your text to be emphasized and all these things you can do by using the text formatting then um for that i'm just giving b b is nothing but bold letters i'm writing here as bold letters whatever you want and it is always follows by slash b is nothing but the closing tag and i'm gonna want i want my text to be in italic then i'm writing here as italic i'm ending it sorry and I want uh, uh, if you, here you have seen the horizontal line right and we have another thing uh, which you can give underline to your uh, uh, any text that is we have you you tag which is nothing but an underline tag this is sorry this is an underline tag and it's gonna be end but for this it's go it is having that uh, end uh, end tag but hr tag doesn't have the end tag okay guys got it what i'm saying is yes. and i al already said you one more tag is there for text formatting is uh, emphasize tag right we'll see what does emphasize tag do emphasize tag is uh, we'll put in between uh, angular braces em emphasized see i'm gonna save this and i'm gonna show you how it works okay guys okay we are going to the chrome chrome again why my chrome was not working well okay we'll reload it see see here and it is having a very big uh, yeah see here i have the simple html code which is in my text part and the, the we already said to you that we have the six types of headings this is the heading which we came when we wrote h1 tag and for the h2 tag h3 h4 h5 and h6 and we have wrote something in our paragraph tag that is hi friends how are you all and here it is a paragraph tag that was just what you want to write in a paragraph that will display and we have wrote a horizontal line a hr tag and here we have the bold letters italic this is an underline tag and it is emphasized see all it was uh, mixed up right i want to make it i want to break it see how we'll do that um I want this to be in center because uh, the line will be looks attractive it is center then we have a tag here right called center center it follows by slash as usual sorry okay okay and here we have the bold letters and uh, it is continuously comes with italic and all this right so i want to break this line we can use a break tag called br and here also we can use a break tag called br and one more thing i want to say here is uh, the break tag doesn't have uh, the end tag the break tag is an unknown tag that it doesn't have an end tag okay guys these are i wrote the break here and i'm saving it again we learned the two two new tags here that is the center tag which is going to put your text the center of the page and we are all again learning the break tag sorry not again <laughs> newly learning the break tag uh that is uh, which going to break your line there and going to comes to your next line uh which is not uh, looks continuously Guys, nice. I'm gonna save this. 
and uh, we'll see this in the Google Chrome how it's gonna look. What wrong? See here, guys. Uh, I wrote break here, right? Bold letters, italic letters. This is an underline tag, and this is an emphasized tag. And we wrote here the center, but it doesn't came. We'll see how we're gonna change it. Okay. We'll put the paragraph. Control X. Control V. And I want my paragraph text to be. In center so we need to write it inside the paragraph tag sorry I wrote it outside unknowingly not knowingly okay let's see let's see it works or not what happened to this okay let me see it again uh, sorry because of spelling I hope so Okay, we'll see it. I just saved it and we'll see it again. See, okay, sorry <laughs> by mistake that was for spelling. Uh, uh, hi friends, how are you? That came in the middle of this uh, um, horizontal line, right? This was the basic tag today I'm gonna say it to you. And uh, I'll see another um, some tags which uh, which is somewhat basic also and uh, which is which we can easily learn within one day so i'm gonna see you uh, a tag called um, s tag which is nothing but a strike tag do you want to give some strike to our pay, pay i mean some text strike to our text we can give as by using s tag um, we can write as strike s and we are having one more tag called the mark tag if you want to highlight some text we can use the mark tag by using this mark tag you can highlight highlight your text okay and the mark tag going to be end here okay and then I'm gonna tell you another tag called we are studied about the bold tag right I'm gonna tell you another tag, uh, tag, tag called the strong tag which makes it to look your letters bold itself both having the similar functionalities but we have two tags here I didn't see any difference between both the tags so I'm saying it it has the same functionality uh, and uh, I didn't see another, uh, any difference between the strike tag and also we have another talk uh, tag called the delete tag. Delete tag is also works similar as in a stri uh, strike tag because we can see the strike on our uh, text. Uh, these are all some of the tags uh, in it and uh, I'll tell you another tag called small here. Small is also nothing but a your your uh, font size will be just reduced somewhat. I hope you will you can recognize or you can't recognize it. But uh, the small tag is mainly used for uh, lessen our uh, font size. Okay, I'm gonna save this. Uh, before that, I'll just use the breaks because it may look clumsy for you okay guys these are all simple basic tags which you can learn by seeing itself see h1 tags 2 and all these heading tags okay and uh, for bold letters b that was the, just the starting letters of uh, what we think of that is user friendly i am i'm gonna say give give the underline to the text means you can use you underline you stats that's it so i just said the basic tags today i'm gonna save this i'm gonna show you in the web page how they're gonna look okay see guys here we 
here we can see we said the bold letters means here uh, it looks bold and italic it looks italic italic and uh, this is an underline tag okay emphasized we looked all this this and now i just introduced the strike tag which gonna give strike to your text and the delete tag it is also similar as a strike tag which gonna give strike to your text and mark tag which gonna highlight your text and see all the uh, what we'll see the font sizes and the highlight your text to the font size that was a little bit small right because we use the small tag under the uh, mark tag right so uh, the text uh, the font size of the highlight your text was reduced and uh, in the italic tag also we used the bold tag i hope so so that was somewhat highlighted let me see it see the we use the strong tag in the italic tag that's why that looks somewhat uh, strong if it doesn't use it, how it's going to look? Let me see the difference of it. I didn't see any difference, but the strong tag is going to make you to look little bit bold and with little bit higher size. So, we're going to introduce it here as usual. Okay, then guys, today the basic tags is enough for you all. And in the next class, we'll learn some more advanced taglines of HTML. And thanks for watching my video. Uh, hope you will get subscribed and like my uh, video itself. Thank you.